Hello and welcome once more to Red Gaming Tech. My name is Amata. Today is the 12th of November and this time I have some news for you regarding Just Cause 3. As Avalanche Studios has moved to end speculation that has been floating around that Just Cause 3 would be a free-to-play game supported by in-game microtransactions. Now, as you probably know, these rumours came to us thanks to some leaked screenshots which came about about a week before the game's official announcement on Tuesday. However, as I said, Avalanche has squashed these claims as in a post on the company's web website, the co-founder and chief creative officer Christopher Sundberg says that the screenshots in question showed a quote, ancient version of the game during an exploratory phase of development. And he went on to say, quote, like most games, this one went through an exploratory phase where we looked at different control schemes, different technologies, different business models. Those leaked screenshots show aspects of that process and in no way reflect the game we are making today. To be perfectly clear, Just Cause 3 will be distributed as a retail box and digital download. It is not a free to play game. It does not feature in-game microtransactions. Does that mean we'll release the game and call it quits? Nope. Beyond launch, we are look likely to look into DLC packs and items as part of our ambition to support Just Cause 3 and its players for many years to come. But until that time, we're completely focused on making the best Just Cause game we possibly can. Rest assured, it'll be a huge, fully packed and extremely rewarding experience right out of the gate. Now, just in case you missed it, it was officially revealed on Tuesday that Just Cause 3 will be releasing on the Xbox One, PS4 and the PC in 2015 and will be set on a fictional Mediterranean island and will still be the bonkers open world action which promises vastly improved parachute and grapple mechanics which should make quite a lot of fans very happy. Ah, and I think we can all breathe one collective sigh of relief. I don't think anyone wanted to see the mighty just cause going the way of free to play and the microtransactions. Now, there's nothing wrong with free to play, but it it's kind of got a bad taste in people's mouths with big games kind of going with the whole microtransaction route. If it was free to play, then it would still be fair enough, but I still think that the free to play market is so flooded right now. It would be better just to go with the tried and tested method, especially for Just Cause, which of course is an established franchise, Just Cause 2 especially, very, very good game indeed. Free to play is all well and good, but as I said, very oversaturated, people are kind of sick of it. And of course, the words microtransactions definitely leave a bad taste in people's mouths with a lot of um, paid games going down that route. But of course, they have flat out said there will be no in-game microtransactions of any description, so... No worries there, Just Cause 3 I'm sure will be just as bonkers and out there fun as previously. In fact, if it isn't, I'll be extremely disappointed. I expect them to up the ante quite a bit. I'm sure they all know that the eyes are on them to see how crazy they can go this time as the game was nothing short of insane, to be honest with you. Insanely fun. Very, very good game indeed. One of the best games of its launch period. So yeah, looking forward to it. Definitely some good news and I'll see you next time.